Hey folks, this is Dave here. Been a while since I've done a little update on the Chevelle to just let you know where I'm at, what I've been doing. <clears throat> it's kind of like electrical day, I guess. Had to replace some bulbs, tail light bulbs, and brake lights. That's been an ongoing uh, little project. I'm going to take you around and show you that in a minute. Got some LED bulbs for the dash. Now these are bright. Supposedly 300 lumina as compared to 38. We'll see when it gets dark how it looks. Got these little light connectors. Uh, you want to run these uh, LED strips. They're real hard to solder. Don't mean you can't, but I can't. <laughs> Put it that way. So you get these little connectors and uh, it's already to snap on and go. Let me bring you over here and show you what I've been up to. As you know, the first project, not first project, but one of the projects we did was uh, this electrical cutoff switch we put in down here. That's working good. Shuts to power, no more draining, no more taking a battery terminal off when I park it for weeks at a time. Then we had a uh, problem with the starter. Back up. Then we did a light project, okay? Had to get the lights a little bit brighter. They were too dim. What? You happened? Well, all right. Stand over there then. So, I um, did put some relays on. What it does, it sends 12 straight volts to the headlights, makes them brighter. That's what this little relay panel here is for. I got a, all this wired up. Then we uh, jumped on the starter. Seems that... Uh, these big blocks, especially when you got headers, they're real close to the starter and it causes a problem with the solenoid. So by putting a relay on it, it kind of bypasses that problem. Cranks every time now when it gets hot. Couldn't ask for no better. The other little project I've been working on is getting people off my butt. Okay? I got a light strip up here. It's a third light, basically. Uh tapes in on inside the windshield it's working real good for me the other thing i've been doing is replacing like i showed you those led lights i've been taking these little small ones incandescent lights out and i'm replacing them with these little leds let me get one out and i'll show you all right this is the led light it goes in there. They seem to be brighter, but it's daytime. I won't know till it gets dark and I'll come out here and check the part light on that. So that's what we're doing, tidying up some wires under the dash. I've seen a few that, oh, it's my fault. I put black tape on. And I should not have done that. I'm going to put a heat shrink on. So let me get on with that and I'll get back with you. Update time, folks. Well, all my messing around managed to blow a fuse in the uh, for the dash lights. So I don't have a 10 amp fuse, and it's the old school type. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. Of course, you don't. Some of you do. Let me show you. This is the old fuse type. It's no longer the new. You get that? New ones. I'll show what the new one looks like. Newer cars use these. And it's these are tight right here. Just plug it, right? Nope. These old bayonet type, I guess you'd call them. Got to go to the parts store. They still make them, so I get back with you. Hey, you know what? Uh, I told everybody I got, got me a new car here a while back, Volkswagen. What I did not know, on radio down there, what I did not know if this thing come with a NASCAR mode in it. He, he told me about the shifting thing, but it's got like a NASCAR mode in it too. That ain't exactly what Volkswagen calls it, but you know, that's what I do. So let me get out here where it's good and flat and straight. So I can skin this thing back and show you what it'll do. All right, let me hit it. Oh, 
Got the lid off of it. Get out. Take the car and NASCAR mode off. Get back here on the straightway. This thing out run a flashlight on top of you and you are. Well, everybody's going to the beach, ain't it? Dang tourists. What I tell y'all, wasn't it something? Only in a Volkswagen. I mean, y'all get all these American cars, you won't. Volkswagen put that little NASCAR feature in for those rednecks. Get her done, that's what I'm talking about. All right, back from the parts store, and I uh, got a pack of these 10 amp fuses. So we'll get up on here and See if we can't pop one in without blowing it. All right, all right. All right. Had a little camera difficulty. Anyway, we got her popped in. Everything should go back to work. I can't tell if things working or not. It's too light outside to check the park lights. Don't appear to be no fuses blown. All right. Where are the keys at? Ain't them. Yeah, I know. I got a clean thing out there. Oh, well. We'll get around to it. That's all. Things are key hot. See how back up. Got one. Let's see what's causing the other not to work. Something I did. Let me guarantee you that. All right. Yeah, just leave it on. Turn the switch off. Get in the trunk. See what's the problem. Yes. Anything obvious? Let's to back up. If I just blew a bulb, let's see. Uh, no. Bulb's not blown. Bulb's not working. I don't see it. Oh. Let me switch back on. Got me, Dave. Right. Turn the switch back on. It ain't like a real car where you put it in reverse and the lights come on. I got a little toggle switch. Yeah, I know it's rigged. Big deal. Got one. I got another one. This to brown. There. Back up lights restored. <laughs> Turn the back up lights off. Yeah. Oh, I got one other project I wanted to share with you that I did. The overflow. I think I told you about that in the previous video, but anyway, that's been some of the projects I've done. Next to the uh, radiator, this hot overflows into the canister, so it all goes back. So there, that's moving. And uh, 
Get the Volkswagen over here in its place. I swap up killing the ground. I don't drive this thing much, you know. Just get out here and goober with it. Excuse me. Get out here and tinker with it. Hot day here in Dothan, Alabama. Not too hot. I can't play with the car. So, up to date on projects. So, there you go. I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.